What's up guys, welcome back to another Sony Vegas tutorial video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best render settings uh, for your videos in 1080p. This is just going to be a short video providing some of the best settings you can choose before you end up pressing that render button on a video. So uh, this should be a sh pretty short video, I hope. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so here we are in Sony Vegas 16. Uh, this, what I'm going to do basically works for pretty much any version, uh, 14, 15, and 16, it all works. Um, but this is just a clip that you see in some of my edits all the time. It's just the spinny, the spinny car clip because I think it's really cool. Uh, it just has some light effects applied to it, uh, so don't worry too much about that because um, what you're most likely going to have something else in here, uh, whatever you're rendering, which is completely fine. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to head to our project properties. So we're going to go to file and properties. Uh, and you notice we have a template preset up here, uh, and mine's custom. I based it off of the, this template, HD 1080 60i at 30 frames per second. Um, and I'm actually going to change my frame rate to 60 because we filmed this um, at 60, 1080 60 frames. Um, but frame rate is completely up to you because um, if you're doing like big production type stuff, you can change this to 24 for the film look um, and 30. Uh, is NTSC format and 60 is if you really want it to be really smooth and fluid. Um, for this we're going to change it to 60 and you'll notice it's not exactly 60 uh, even when you change it to 60 it's just going to go right back to 59.97 uh, or 94 in this case um, but the rest of these settings uh, can be left as is um, you want to disable 360 output if it's enabled Stereoscopic, stereo, stereoscopic 3D mode. Ugh, can't say that. Uh, you want to leave this off and all the rest of these settings as is. If this is set to good, set this to best because we obviously want the best quality pro possible. Motion blur type, leave as is. And of course, the most important thing here, disable your resample because if you enable this at all, um, when, you, when you look at the final product, when you end up rendering this, it's going to look really choppy and really blurry and really bad. Um, so make sure you disable this and leave all these uh, blank these check boxes here and so we're gonna hit apply and we're gonna hit OK alrighty so once you've messed with your project properties you're gonna want to render the video or clip that you've edited so we're gonna go to file render as and you notice I have a bunch of presets here ignore those because we're gonna go to the default settings and customize the default settings from there I don't know how true this is for the other two versions of Sony Vegas, the two newer ones anyway, 14 and 15, but in 16, uh, you're going to have a bunch of different uh, rendering pre like preset options or formats that you can use. Um, I use Magic's AVC slash AAC MP4 and to render it as an MP4 uh, video. So we're going to select this and we're going to come over to the uh, menu on the right here and since this is a project and uh, rendered in 60 or edited in 60 frames we're going to edit we're going to render this as a 60 frame um, 1080 project so we're going to select a internet HD 1080p uh, 59.94 and we're going to customize a couple things on this um, you can rename this template let's rename it uh, YouTube uh, 1080 60 FPS and once we're done you can hit the save template there All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now actually um, so of course we're gonna want this to be 1080 1920 by 1080 um, if you if you have a, a little bit higher res video 1440 by and 1440p you can select this one but we're gonna go with this for now profile main keep that on main uh, frame rate, of course, as I said, it's 60 frames, so we're going to 59.94. Field order, non-progressive scan, that's okay, you can leave that as is. And when it comes down to two pass, uh, two pass I found, when you, when you enable this, uh, that's like enabling um, it to render it back twice to eliminate basically any forms of blur at all. Um, what I found is that this, if you, when you enable this, you gotta make sure you have a really good PC if you don't want to wait like two hours for like a really long render. Because once you enable this, it really does put a damper on your PC. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that unchecked because my my computer really isn't the best. Um, number of slices and everything else, you can leave that the same. And code mode. And code mode is uh, CPU or GPU. 
Um, if you don't have a GPU uh, in your computer, you can use Main Concept AVC. Um, I have an NVIDIA GPU in my computer currently, so I'm going to select NV Encoder. Um, and basically that just allows the program to use the NVIDIA cores uh, to render this video instead of the CPU, so it puts a lot less stress on the CPU. So I'm going to select NV Encoder and Preset, that's, that's okay, and RC Mode, uh, VBR is okay, and Chroma Subsampling, we're going to leave that as is. Audio, I recommend looking at a separate video for how to do audio because when I edit my videos, I really don't worry about the audio that all that much unless it's in like Audacity or something or a different program or something like that. Um, so all these settings, I basically just leave the same except for the video tab. Um, but yeah, that's about it. You want to hit OK and I saved it uh, to my favorites menu and how to do that is you basically just uh, uncheck this real quick. Um, notice that the template that you saved appears at the top of this uh, right side menu here. Uh, if you want to save it to your favorites so you don't have to look for it again or make it again, you just simply hit the uh, pink little star on the left of the template. And then all you got to do is hit render. And I already have a video that's named test. I'm just going to go ahead and hit yes because I don't really care. Um, but yeah, that's those are the settings. So yeah guys, those are some of the best settings you can use for rendering a video out in 1080p. Uh, if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like or subscribe. It really helps me a lot. I'm actually planning on doing another video uh, later this week or maybe release it next week on how to do it for 4K videos. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Peace.